Hi everybody and welcome back to the Republic of Revilia, where we are building the most beautiful and prosperous island nation here in Transport Beaver 2. We're riding aboard our tram line in O-Town. Ah, thank you very much Obama Chu for letting me know that this line is messed up. It is. It's very messed up. Look at this. It goes all the way out and then stops and then goes back. I don't know how this occurred. Ah, oh, that's horrible. So we're gonna fix that. And there's just a whole bunch that we have to do today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going through and dealing with some of these really bad stations, get them going. And then we're gonna start making sure that our cities get all the things that they want if they're not getting something that they're that they need then we're going to take a look at that entire line and beef up the entire thing we may have to beef up some inner city cargo trains and stuff uh oh, looking forward to it like this guy he's carrying 75 fuel capital city o-town capital city o-town there's still 53 waiting there stuff like that we we need a bigger train we need a bigger train we need bigger things Ah, all right, first, let's fix this tram in O-Town, because that's ridiculous. How did this happen? I'm guessing we just have to re-upgrade these roads down here? Fine. Fine game. All right, are these small streets? Can I make it a medium street? With tram, yes. Electric tram. No, can't do it. All right, a small one with electric tram? We can. Nice. All right, let us continue this and this little bit. We should be good. All right, let's unpause it. And I want to see if this fixed itself. Do you got, there we go. Look at that. You did it. Nice. All right, that is so much better. All right, we got that fixed. Look at all these tools just sitting around all oh, man. All right, let's go through our stations. Shelbyville Horror. Horror? It's a horror. Harbor. God, why is English so hard? It's not a horror movie. I really feel like watching a horror movie though. That'd be great. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's terrible. Shelbyville Harbor is no good. I think it's this line, right? They only have one. Oh boy. That is quite the distance too. And they only have one dopey hovercraft. All right. Straight away, Dopey is getting an upgrade. Not going to clone you. We're going to get a Zurich on this. Straight away. A Dopey Zurich. Perfect. Hopefully that'll help. We're not going to go too crazy with our upgrades. We'll see if that helps. Shelbyville Harbor. Very. Look at all these people. Just lined up neatly. It's so nice. Yeah, it has to be that line. All right, that should help with that. What's next? Megaton 6th Street? What's the deal? What's the deal on 6th Street? Ah, the R1. No problem. One more bus for you. How's the R2 line looking? They already have four. All right, nice. R2 has four. R1 has four. What's next? Bring them on. We got... Oh, God. I cannot say that street. All the way down in Midgar. Oh, this is the one we put all the bendy buses on. Look at them go. Nice. All right. I think we're just going to have to get two more bendy buses on here. You know? Sometimes four bendy buses is not enough. Good. What else do we got? We're on a roll. Megaton Branch. Okay. More ship action. What do we got going on here? Two Shelbyville Megaton. And Midgar Megaton. So we got two hovercrafts. The Homicidal and the Murderous. Should we? How far is this line? How far does this go? It doesn't go very far at all. Uh, Alright, I'm thinking... Mm, uh, I want to upgrade these. Or do we just clone them? I'm thinking upgrade them. 
We're going to get some bigger ships. We're just going to switch them out with some bigger ships. Hopefully that'll be okay. And then this one, we got that, so that should be fine. I'm wondering if we should double up on that. We'll leave it for now. Who else do we got? Yeah, it's pretty much just everybody in Megaton Branch. Everything else is looking very good as far as overload. So just give that a minute, see how that goes. And let's start taking a look at our cities and see what they need. All right, let's take a look at what the cities need. And it looks like Capital City is getting a little bit of everything. So that's nice. Next in line, where are we at? O-Town, right over here. Look at this. They want tools. They are the tool producer of our nation, and they want tools, and they're not getting it. That's ridiculous. The factory is right here. You could just walk there. Oh, look, they're not storing that many planks. That could be a problem. We're going to have to look into that as well. Okay, so where would you like your tools? Please tell me about these things. Okay, I see these two buildings up here. And it looks like this truck stop. Yeah, that'll cover it. So, what is that? Z Z that street? Commercial street? Good. That's where we gotta go. Zidane. Alright, nice. Do we have a free spot down here? Let's take a look at our lines. No, but we can add on to this, and we're going to. Let's configure it. Get ourselves some more cargo space. Nice. Alright, and then we should be able to just very simply put in a new line. I don't know what I just clicked down here, but that's fine. we we'll go here. And this is, what was this for? Tools? So this is going to be bright red. And we want to put that on the new one that we just made. Nice. And we'll keep this on full load. And we'll keep the max time at 3. And we'll make sure that they know they're grabbing tools. Good stuff. And what button did I just hit? My bad. Come back. I wasn't done with you. There we go. And we want to go to this one right here and drop off. Perfect. All right. We got the line made. The truck just pulled up. He's waiting there patiently. We take a look at this. They are storing some planks. And look at this. O-Town. One. They made one whole tool for O-Town. Their hometown. Good job. FA Tools. All right. Since we're here. They are storing some. They never went below zero, which is good. So, I don't think we have to worry about planks too much. We have tons, tons of trucks on this line. Doing work. I, why is there food? As part, hold on. <laughs> a little confused. I'm a little confused as to why food is on this. Um... Weird. That's just weird. I don't... I mean, it's working. I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't know how food entered the system there, but... That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Anyway, I wanted to take a look at the tools going out from O-Town. And take a look at some of these trains that are carrying tools. We also have tons of tools down here. Capital City and O-Town. Things are actually looking pretty good. Nothing's really piled up too crazy. I think we're going to be okay. Alright, we got one. Look at this. The O-Town Shelbyville train is just pulling in. And O-Town Shelbyville tools, they... Yeah, there's 61. They're not going to be able to take all of them. So, let's manage this vehicle. And we're going to edit it. And make sure that they can carry all of these beautiful tools. Which boxcars were we using? We were using these guys. I think I do want to switch to these for everybody. Yeah, they weigh less and it's only two more emission. So we may as well do that now. I hope we don't lose any of this food that we're bringing over. I hope it just magically goes into this. But we'll get rid of those three. We'll add four. And I kind of want to put these on the back. 
Does that seem fitting? I don't know. I'm doing it though. There we go. Modify that. Good, it kept all of its food. Nice, so now when it pulls in, should be able to get all of those tools. I noticed the uh, the O-Town Townsville, they were able to get all of theirs. And the line over here, Capital City O-Town, they were able to get all of theirs. And it looks like Cape Suzette is just pulling in now as well. Hold on, let's pause it real quick. Uh, how's this guy doing? Yeah, he should, he can carry 72. He'll be fine. How much is waiting here? Cape Suzette, 31. How much can you carry? Oh, you should be fine. All right, cool. Let's let that go ahead and play out. So as far as tools going out, everything seems to be good. Everybody, all the trains coming in were able to carry a full load, everything that they needed to go out. This guy, this truck, he's just making the rounds in O-Town right now. <laughs> it's fine. I think they have to do a lap, right? They do a little warm-up lap before they actually get some stuff. Oh, this O-Town Shelbyville, though. 54 of 54 fuel. Hold on, O-Town Shelbyville. Where is your... That's here. Uh, there's only two waiting. I'm going to assume that they got all of it. All right, cool. What are you doing? You can't do these things. That... Mm-mm. Nope. Get out of here. We can't allow that. Hold on. Let's put a little placeholder here so that nobody builds a home here ever again. Just don't do it. Can we just... Or maybe we could just put a few. Let's put a little few little curves in right here. There you go. Nobody build there, please. That looks fine. Here, we'll put a little tree in as well. Right? We'll get... Oh, just the most beautiful big tree right there just block it a little bit there you go people can enjoy their drive along here a little bit more now nice all right cool that does look better all right fantastic took care of that problem look at all these tools going out nice this guy's still sitting here have they tools there are there were two Apparently, I don't know where they are though. Our truck's waiting for them. Hopefully he'll get them sometime today. All right, O-Town, what else do you want? You want machines? No problem. All right, to get machines out to O-Town shouldn't be too difficult. We are shipping them from where they're made in Bloatsburg. They're arriving here in Capital City at the port and they're already making their way to the train station. All we have to do is do Capital City O-Town. Let's pause it real quick. Let's manage this line. In Capital City, I'd also like you to pick up machines. All right. So we need... We're going to have to do 50-50 on this now. Because they're both going to share the same container. They both use boxcars. So we're going to load up 50-50 on that. Good. And then in O-Town, got to make sure we let you know to drop these off. Yeah, they could do 100% of these. That's fine. And we're unloading fuel. That and now that. Good. All right. So that takes care of that. Um, manage the vehicle. We probably should edit this train. I don't think we need this big hefty thing on there. I do love this train. But I don't think we need it. We're going to get rid of it and we're going to get this guy. My new favorite. There we go. We'll put that on there. And we'll get our new box cars, Our bright shiny red ones that I'm in love with. And we'll do four this time. Instead of three. Perfect. And I want these to be on the end. Nice. Go ahead and modify that. So he should be good to go. So the machines will then come over and we'll drop them off here. And we're going to have to extend this yet again. Add a whole nother platform on there. Nice. 
and we have to figure out where they want these machines. O-Town, tell me about it. You do want machines, right? Does anybody see a machine symbol anywhere? Because I don't. I don't see anything. I see nothing. I see the little tools. The, oh, there's one. I see one. It's right there. Did you see it? It's like finding Waldo. It's perfect. All right, so we could just use this little station right here, Fassel Road. All right, cool. So let's put a new line in. Going to go down here. Make sure that we utilize that brand new shiny platform that I just made. Good. What color were machines again? I think they're green, aren't they? I'm pretty sure there's some kind of like awesome dark green color. Nice. So we'll load up on said machines that should be coming in. And then we'll take them up to this first stop right here. No problem. Uh, we'll wait till full as well. Same old tricks. We'll wait three minutes and then just unload them there and you're good to go. Nice. Oh, I was wrong about the color. It's a little bit lighter of a green. All right, nice. So got that in place. We should just have to buy a vehicle for this. I'm pretty sure we have to use this guy. Yeah. Go ahead and just get one for now. He gets to be an awesome green. That's real nice. And we'll put him on cargo truck. Where is it? Machines. O-Town. Nice. All right. Go ahead and unpause that. And that should be all we need. So machines already coming over. We told the train to bring it over here. All right. Cool. While we wait for that to kick in, let's take a look at... Nice. All of our stations, according to this, are good. Fantastic. I'm just going to have a peek around myself and make sure everything's looking good. It looks like, yeah, everything is looking pretty good for the most part. All right, guys, it's time to do something big. Check this out. All right. Down by Midgar. Look at this little area. We have the Midgar Quarry. We have two forests that can turn them into planks. Here's my idea. We're going to build a new port down here and we're going to produce these planks and take the stone, right? Two different lines. One line is going to take the stone from here all the way up to Cape Suzette. Look at this. They want to make construction materials so bad. They had this one. We never used it. They're going to get rid of it. They built a second one. So we're going to keep it. Cape Suzette Construction Co. No problem. We're going to put a port in. We're going to make construction materials. And then we're going to send those construction materials back to where we got the stone down here. And put them back into the system. And then we're also going to have another line that's going to take these planks to this port. And it's going to take them up to Capital City. And we're going to start Capital Tools. Look at that. We have a tool maker right there. And we'll be able to put tools into the system. Ah, oh, it's going to be perfect. All right. First things first, we have to figure out exactly where we want to put the harbor. I'm thinking here. Ah, oh, I don't know. I wish this wasn't here. We may have to put it up further. I was hoping it would automatically connect and we won't have to truck anything. But let's get rid of all these roads and see if we can replan this and maybe we can have the harbor somewhere where it will connect automatically at least to this. At least to one of these. I don't mind trucking some planks up, but I'm hoping we could at least connect to the quarry.
All right, so we got all of this in place. This feels a little bit cheaty that this is just automatically hooked up, but I'm I'm hoping that'll be the case. I'm hoping they'll just feed right into that. So we should just need one truck line to go here to drop things off, and then we could probably use actually. Hold on, let's connect this road. We can make a nice little loop, right? We could have the logs come down, drop them off here, and the same truck can pick up the planks and take them to the port. Perfect. And we just stop with the tram tracks on everything. Every time I built one of these, guys, I put tram tracks in there. It's so annoying. Jeez, you build tram tracks once. And the game just wants to build them all the damn time. All right. How does that? That doesn't look the best, does it? That looks better. I like the little wiggle it put on there. That's a very nice looking little road. All right, cool. Um, I'm also thinking we may as well go overboard. And no, not pass it. Street access. Yeah. Let's get some street access on that side and do the same thing with this one. May as well give them ways to do loops, right? Hopefully they'll do some wonderful loops. We'll just connect this down to here. Oh, look at that angle. That's nice. All right, perfect. And then this guy. There we go. That'll do. We'll just smooth that out. And we got to go build some more ports and put in some lines real quick. All right, nice. So we got that all set up. Let's go out to Cape Suzette. Cape Suzette, you're getting a port. Um, I would like to have the port up here so that it automatically connects to this as well. I feel like that would be very helpful. Uh, what do we want to do here? We can come off of right here. Let's see, keep this nice and straight. We brought this out. Can we go straight from there to there? Does that look ridiculous or... I'm not that much of a fan of it. Here, let's try and bring this out a bit before we even do that. Upgrade this tiny bit out front. No real reason. <laughs> I just felt the need to do that. And let's try and bring this up. Nice and close to here. Hopefully we could put the port in along this road. And then, yeah, we can then just go straight down from here. Perfect. All right, let's see where we can get this in. So we're going to need two buildings, actually. I want to give these guys passenger and other options. Oh, look at that. We can get it to connect automatically. Nice. All right, let's center this on this road if we can. Uh, it's hard to tell. Is it that? That looks good, right? Perfect. All right, so we got that in. We're going to have to configure this and get ourselves a cargo building. Let's get it a little separate first. We'll get a large dock going out that way. And it's hard to see with the whiteness. Get another large one going out that way. May as well put the landings on before I forget. Can't do it. Can't do either of them. Fine. <laughs> Fine game. All right, we also need a cargo building. How does this even look? Yeah, we could fit a cargo building down on this side. It would probably look a lot nicer. Yeah, let's do that. All right, big cargo building. Can we put it on? No, you can't put it on the back part. It has to go here. All right, fine. Put that in right there. Can also get a small dock on it. Right? May as well. Get a little small dock. Can we put a little, we can put a little landing on it. Nice. Good, it'll fit. All right, we just have to do some terraforming and that'll be good. And that automatically connects to this. So then we just need a way to get the bricks out and into the system. And we need a port down here for the tools. We could use this port, but there are a lot of lines going to it already. 
But we would only have to truck. Hmm, I'm thinking we might. We might want to just use that port instead of building another one. You know what? We may as well just make this its own port, right? We've got the cash. Let's do it. I'm going to get this guy in as far as we can. Try and get it somewhat straight with the beach. All right, that should be good. Hopefully right there. And if we just hook it up, the medium country road, right? Get a nice, nice good one out front. I want it to still look nice. So hopefully that'll be... How are we going to make this look nice? It just looks a little derpy, doesn't it? Maybe we should downgrade this to a smaller road. Would probably look a little bit better, maybe? And do some terraforming? And we'll plant a little forest in there, too. That'll probably be good. Alright, nice. Let's configure this as well. We'll get ourselves a big dock on there. I'm not sure. I'm still torn between whether we're going to do big ships or little ships. I'm thinking we're just going to do little ones to start. Uh-oh. Got to fix this real quick first. But yeah, we'll probably just put some tugs on just to get things going and see how that goes from there. Alright, I think I have everything set up. We have a whole bunch of tugboats should be coming out any moment now. We've got, let's check this out. So, Capital City Sidings, Midgar Annex. We got Plank Boy and Tool on the job. They're going to be going, oh my god, look at this mess. It just lines everywhere. Okay, alright, so they're going from Midgar Annex, right here, right? Ah, it's confusing. So, they're loading up on planks here. Fantastic. They're going to Capital City, and they're going to unload the planks and load up tools. And then after they load up the tools, from up here, they're going to drop them off down here at this port instead, so that they can be fed into the system for Midgar and for Bluffington, and eventually Bikini Bottom, and then the ship will go back down to here and start the whole process over. It's already getting stone. Nice. So we have that line. So with this line, got bricks and stone, and what they're doing is they're picking up stone here. They're taking it all the way downtown to Cape Suzette, dropping it off, picking up building materials, coming all the way down and dropping them off just like the tools down in Midgar so that they can be fed to Midgar and fed all the way down to Bluffington. Because I'm pretty sure that's the way building materials were going. Midgar, Bluffington. At least I thought building materials are going that way. They might be getting their building materials elsewhere. Hmm. We'll have to take a look at that. Uh, we also have, we got a truck line that's picking up building materials from here and it's dropping them off here at this little truck stop. That's what I wanted to do. We have to edit this train. So O-Town, Cape Suzette, and Capital City, Cape Suzette. We have to make, well, we have to take <laughs> building materials to both of them. Oh, jeez, I can't even think right now. All right, so very simply, we should just have to change both of the lines and probably manage the vehicles on each one. So if we get this guy and just put some flat cars on there with stakes, should be good to go. Which one were we using? 
That one carries 18, that one's 18. So definitely not that one. I think it was this one. Yeah, it weighs less. It has less emissions and weighs less. It's ridiculous. We'll get two, no problem. And that's O-Town Cape Suzette. What other line do we have? O-Town Cape Suzette and Capital City Cape Suzette. Manage this vehicle. Get some stakes on there. Is it this one? I forgot already. It's this one. There we go. Just two for now. Should be good. And that'll help out a lot. Because before, Cape Suzette was just bringing in tools and bringing in fuel and wasn't sending anything out. So those lines will should be much improved. I'm hopeful. All right. So that should be everything, right? We're getting building materials. We're shipping building materials out. We're trucking building materials down. I bought the trucks that are coming all the way from Capital City, so they're going to be a minute. We have trucks on this line as well. Nothing waiting. Did I put that line in? Hold on. There we go. I wouldn't have put this line in. So we're going to pick up tools from here. Let's make sure we do that. Where's tools? Pick up them tools. Good stuff. And we're going to drop them off down at 13th Street and that hooks in to both the train station and the dock so the tools can just go off from there into the world do whatever you want don't care it'll be fine we need to get a truck or two on this line probably just one right let's buy a brand shiny new truck paint it red nice and I don't think I named that line yet did I it should just be a bright bright red line somewhere there it is, line one. Nice. Go do that. Oh, look at this. All of our tongues are coming in. I left them, uh, if they're for tools, I left them red, and if they're for the building stuff, I made them orange. I like it. It looks nice. We have some colorful tugs. They follow real close. That's tailgating. Jeez. All right. So, we have tons of stuff piling up already. I had to put in another little tiny line. I don't know why it's called bus tram station, but yeah, how come you guys still ship me nothing? Oh, is it now going directly there? Because it wasn't. Before we had this, I put a whole bunch of these little tiny, where are they? Those little tiny trucks that you can get from here, these little guys, we got four of them. They should be on the way. So that they can run back and forth between these two little things. That's why I have a waypoint here. It's this little Midgar Express. Just You can barely see it because of the color. But yeah, hopefully they'll... Oh, wait, wait. Look at that. We got one. We got some wood there. Alright, nice. And how are things going here? Oh, jeez. I put a big building in. It was not enough. Let's manage these vehicles. Bam. We got eight now. Awesome. We got to get this stuff moving. It's very important. Oh, look at all these guys. Awesome. So everything down here seems to be working well. If we travel on up, nothing's going to be doing anything here yet. What are you guys doing? Ship maybe. It's just squeaking by. Jeez, could you get any closer? That crazy bastard. All right. So we upgraded the trains, and we have stuff. Look, here he comes with nothing, but it's fine. Once these ships come, he'll be able to drop his bricks off, get his bricks out into the system. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Real quick. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, the one we just made is really poor. But also, we have some passenger stations. Oh, look at all these people. Oh, man. Nice. Alright, what line is this? We got all three of them. None of them look too terrible. Right? Maybe let's double up on this. There we go. So that was the R2 line. May as well get the R1 as well. Eh, just to keep things even, we're gonna do it. And it looked like there was also an express line. Yeah, the Midgar Express. Oh, jeez. It's this again. We have to do something about this. 
They everybody loves the Midgar Express. Uh perhaps we should switch this to a tram line. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep these buses on for now. Next episode, that's gonna be its own dedicated tram line. We have just way too much going on there. Look at all this stuff here. Ah, oh, this is good. Things are moving. We're making moves. All right, everything seems to be working. We actually got some planks in. They were dropped off. Tools are already waiting here. Nice. I got two additional tugs, one for each line. So look at this. Stuff is already piling up. Is this one of the new ones? Yes, yeah, scissors. We got scissors here. Fantastic. All right. All of this is working. These little guys are actually running back and forth. <laughs> look at that. That's so adorable. That's the best. I love it so much. Alright, cool. So, they should be getting everything they need. We're getting planks out to the docks. Oh, fantastic. Tools are being made. These guys should be getting... Sometime soon. They should be getting their first shipment. Let's see if we can find it. Where is it? Oh, I love these little speedy guys. Look at all those machines. Tug off. It's almost full. That's nice. Ah, here we go. Bricks. Bricks and stone. Making their way. Ah, fantastic. Alright. Well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and end it there. We're on the maiden voyage of bricks and stone. They're both... What the hell? Hovercraft just went right through that dude. Nuts. Ah, look at this. I love the view. What a nice day for a sail. Look at all of these ships. Our island nation is really growing. This is fantastic. So, this time we started two new businesses to help out in growing our wonderful island nation. Next time, we have a few public transportation things to do with this new port that we put in Cape Suzette, where we're heading now. We put passenger service infrastructure in place but we didn't actually put any lines in we're going to next time utilize more of our ports there were a few ports i think bluffington was one of them as well where we could oh, look at the plane up there where bluffington we can add passenger shipping as well <laughs> or passenger shipping sure we're gonna ship people via boats it's gonna be great we have some of that to do and we have a whole lot more cargo to do. We have more businesses to start. We're just going to start pumping out the product and just shoving them in the cities and having the cities grow. Oh, it's going to be great. But that's it for now. I hope you guys are enjoying watching. If you are, oh my goodness. <laughs> just craziness. Ah, jeez. All right, if you enjoy watching, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!